We're back with the deciding game three between M Dragon and the Turnum for OST around seven. So interesting sand team on M Dragon's side. Uh, if the T Terra is like banded and not smooth rock. I could see the Katana being Scarf as a secondary speed control next to Sandor's Excadrill. Then the Bulu has to be AV because otherwise he's way too weak to Greninja. And then it's probably Rock's Clef and like Taunt Gliscor because that gives him a good stall matchup. Yeah, on a Taunum side, um, not sure what is the Z move user. Either the Taunt or the Heatran probably. Then he has a Gastron, so the Bulu could be offensive. And the Coco's probably Sugar Berry. So if I'm a Dragon, I wouldn't stay in here because you don't want to take a potential knockoff or HP. If the Eternum just gets up his rocks. Um, I was thinking that a U-turn would come out turn 1 for me, turn him, because I think he used Scarf Lando looking at the team. So he can go for a Magma Storm here, and Dragon uh, goes to his Cheetah instead of Gliscor, maybe fearing um, like a Lava Plume or Willowis Petra, and he doesn't want to risk getting burned on his Gliscor. So now the Bulu should come out because um, Eternum doesn't want to go Landorus, because if Landorus gets weakened, then the x becomes a huge uh, threat to his team. Uh, and Dragon doubles into Gliscor, which makes me think that he's not banned, because if he's banned, I think he should have just edged. Uh, so if he could superpower here, predicting the incoming Kartana, that's a potential play for Eternum. He just only just... I think that damage tells us that he's AV Bulu, which is a bit weird. I thought he would have been like Bennett or SD Bulu, since he has a Gastro in the back to check Greninja and Coco already. But yeah, he goes into the obvious Tornadus, and Dragon goes for knockoff and gets rid of an item. And we see it's Metronome. That's really interesting. So it could be like some sort of Star Breaker with like Taunt, Hurricane, Superpower, Knockoff maybe? Um, so he could either fire off a Hurricane here or he could double into his um, Tapu Bulu because either the Glisco or the Clef is gonna come out here from M Dragon's side. And yeah, earlier M Dragon doubled in the Glisco instead of attacking with a T. That was a bit weird to me, but yeah, he wanted to get his Toxic Orb activated to check the Heatran better. So he does make the double into Bulu that covers the Clef. Uh, did he super? Does he super power? He doubles in the Heatran. That's a good play as well. That covers the Bulu and that covers the Kartana. And if this Heatran is Z-move, uh, maybe it's able to break through the Gliscor, that would be really cool. Um, but Eternum... No, not Eternum. Um, Dragon stays in to go for a knockoff, and he loses his Kartana to a Magma Storm. He crit with a knockoff and only did 40, and we see the Heatran had no items, so it's definitely a Z-move. Um, Eternum doesn't want to stay in here, he's either going to go to Bulu or to Landris. Um, and Dragon doubles into extra predicting predicting the Bulu, uh, but Eternum goes into Landris. That was a fine play because it covers the the Excadrill double, and like instead, unless the Gliscor has Toxic, it could not have done much there. So I assume we see a U-turn here, because the Gliscor or Clef is obvious. I personally would have gone to Clef there, just in case the tournament for HPIs, but the Landers, I think Clef was definitely the better play. Um, I, I guess I guess he went Gliscor because he didn't want to let the, the Heatran in. But yeah, now we probably see just a Horn Leech, since the Kartana is dead, uh, and Dragon has like no good Grass Resist. Um, so I assume Nature's Madness could come out here from M Dragon because he just wants to weaken uh, Eternum's Bulu. Uh, Eternum gets the Tornadus in. So he has a few plays here. So you could fire off a Hurricane or double back into Tapu Bulu because that covers Tita, Clef, or Gliscor. He just fires off a Hurricane. We see he gets the confusion. Uh, and Dragon shouldn't stay in here. He should go to Clef or Gliscor to scout for Super Power. And he does go Clef and he scouts for Super Power and gets it correct. So um, the Torn is not going to stay in here. He should go into. Either the the um, the Bulu, the Heatran, or the oh, it goes Gastron. Okay, didn't think he would go to that. So wishes up in the air. So Skull should come out here. Um, either the Glisco or the Bulu could potentially get the wish. So that's why he should Skull. And yeah, I'm drinking Glisco, Glisco, which is a misplay in my opinion. Um, I think he should have either just stayed into Moonblast or passed it into the Bulu. But yeah, Glisco after Rocks dies to Skull. Glisco runs some speed um, because they want to outspeed Heatrans and sometimes even Hoopers. So they don't have that much for Death Bulk. So yeah, he wasn't able to lift that Skull. It might have been a roll, but I, don't, I definitely don't think that was the play second Glisco because now Heatran just clicks Magma Storm every time it comes in and it kind of just gets a kill. Uh, Magma Storm does connect and I'm pretty sure with the secondary after effect for Magma Storm, it should be able to pick up the Tita here with a Z move. Uh, is that Inferno Overdrive or what? Tectonic Rage? Oh, it's Balloon Doom. Wow. I did not see that one coming. Uh, I guess that's specifically for Gastron. It also hits Tita, as we see here. So now um, the Landers is really obvious. Eternum stays in predicting um, M Dragon to like Iron Head, and M Dragon goes for Toxic. But Eternum gets the play correct and misses. That sucks a lot. So yeah, now he doesn't want to stay in. He goes in the Landers now expecting um, probably the Earthquake. And he turned against the play correct, so he outplayed him really hard there. And yeah, I think I'm Dragon definitely misplayed sacking his Kartana and afterwards sacking his Gliscor. Um, yeah, so now Heatran comes in. Um, he can taunt our Magma Storm here. As the Magma Storm, because he didn't want Eter um, Dragon to maybe go hard into Excadrill, which is why he didn't taunt. But he, yeah, now that Clefable is trapped in my Magma Storm, so taunt is the correct play now. And I guess I'm Dragon has to spend Moonblast, hope for a special attack drops. Alright, so in turn we can map storm here, and their Clefable loses this 1v1, obviously, as you can see. 
gets a drop there. Taunt's gonna end here, right? Uh, so either Taunt or Magma, he hard Magma's predicting um, M Dragon to Moonblast and not Softball because the Taunt was obvious. Gets the play correct and now um, I wasn't sure if Offball kills because he was a minus one, but it does. So the game should be over now. Um, Landris comes out. Okay, he could have also sacked something like could have sacked Coco, but now he can U-turn because with the Intimidate off. The Excadrill is not a big threat. He goes in the blue. Not sure about that. Maybe he could have sacked Coco instead. But I don't think it matters what he does at this point. He's so far ahead. So he could just sack either the Bulo or the Coco is what I was thinking is the play. But he goes back into Landris. Like I don't think letting Landris get that low is the play. But he yeah, turns again and goes in the Gastron. Okay, at this point Gastron walls the drill because it's a minus two. So I think he could go for Toxic here because the switch into the... Tabu Bulu is really obvious. Since the drill is at minus two, I don't think M Dragon wants to stay in. Like M Dragon could stay in and like go for toxic with drill, that's what he showed earlier, right? But as he doesn't want to take a skull, potentially get burned and let his drill get weakened. So a turn goes Coco now. This is probably Shuka Coco with HP investment to help him check Halucha and Pinsley, because otherwise he's way too weak to Halucha. And we see that Honich only does 50, so that's definitely like AV Bulu. Maybe not even Adamant, I don't know, that did nothing. But yeah, um, he goes Gastron on the rapid spin. Uh, you just scald here as I'm Dragon goes for Toxic. Yeah, exactly. You want to scald just in case he Toxics you. You don't want to let him do that for free. And yeah, he gets the burn. And I think that's pretty much the sides of the game. He already said they both said GGs already. So yeah, see I'm Dragon forfeited, but I'm probably like a few turns behind. I'm not skipping turns. So that's cool. I'm Dragon. Uh, not in drink. Eternum is gonna take the series. Um, so he's in my he's in my chat. So like I'm extra hyped. And Ultra Balls also in my chat. And someone who else is in my chat? Someone else is in my chat. Never mind. Zamiado left our chat. Someone else. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Someone else that I know who's still in OST. Um, so like that's pretty cool that like people that I know I still in. Um, especially happy for Eternum to move on. As yeah, he can just do whatever he wants. He pretty much. Goes Gastrodon. I mean, the even if the earthquake comes out, that's not going to do much because the Glisco is burned. Good play, um, doubling the Excadrill, not the Glisco. Good double into Tapu Bulu, but it doesn't matter. Goes to his own Bulu, and yeah, whenever he, he can go into Heatran here, and when as long as he hits a Magma Storm, then the the Bulu goes down. Yep. And now only the Excadrill is left, and only the Excadrill left means the game is over uh, and it's burned as well. And he turn also outspeeds it. it. Does that mean that the Excadrill is adamant? I'm gonna pause it real quick and check speed tiers because I don't want to say anything wrong. Yeah, obviously, I just double checked the drill is either adamant or not make speed because it would otherwise outspeed the Heatran. Just wanted to make sure. And yeah, we can see here the top 16 of OST. Uh, Eternum is gonna face Zamiato. Um, yeah, pretty cool run by Eternum. Grats for winning over I'm Dragon. That's amazing to see. And yeah, I just wanted to say real quick, you guys can expect more tournament coverage in the future. I have some more SPL in the back, some other OST series. And also I have Road to Top 10. I haven't uploaded that in a few days. I have one more part recorded. And then I kind of went on tilt and I also haven't played in a few days, so I decayed. And I only had like 83, 84 GXE on that account. So I might just start over with a new account. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure when that is going to come back, but it's still going to come to the channel. I'm definitely going to finish it this time. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed, and grazie to him, Bob. We out.